First thing a coach would tell you is, where's your basketball, son? Hey, there's no way you play football in New York City. I think with Sofian, he just has it. Like I said, he just has it. This season, I'm expecting nothing short of a state championship. I lived all over New York City since the time I was five years old. I've mostly been living in Manhattan since I was eight. You just had to run for the select bus. The regular, regular stuff right there. New York City shaped my football career because it made me hungry. And no matter what you do, how good you doing, you still gotta do better to get noticed. Everybody think we play basketball out here, so. I gotta make a name for the city. We all gotta make a name for the city. On the bus ride, I usually just listen to music or just relax until my workout. If it wasn't running limited, there is no telling how long it would take. Like right now, we're just gonna get off and have to walk like three blocks to the field. Got to 128, just the field right here. My name is Tyler Simmons, and I've been working with Sofian since he was in middle school playing for the Harlem Jets youth football organization. This is what makes guys a little more elite, right? The ability to cut down on time and transition and agility. Yeah, there's not a lot of recruiting in New York City. At least that used to be the case. Uh, Sofian has definitely had a major impact on that, uh, especially as a quarterback in high school. Honestly, he has an impact on a lot of athletes, not only football. Um, especially with what he does in the gym and on the field. I mean, he has a presence in a lot of places throughout the city. Um, I would say there's youth wrestlers and track athletes and uh, basketball players that look at Sofian and, and just see his work ethic and his persistence. Just got done getting some field work, putting in Max Payne at the field on 128th. We about to walk across 125th and go get Spanish food on the west side, a place called Tropical. One twenty fifth. If you ever heard of Times Square, New York, Forty Second Street, it's like the Forty Second Street of Uptown New York City, Uptown Manhattan. Oh, 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 oh. It's a big city with a lot of crazy people, funny people. At this point, it's just funny to us. Some people think it's crazy. For us, it's just it's hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> On One Twenty Fifth, you got a lot of food places, clothing stores. Uh, you got you got the Apollo Theater, which is very famous. It's just really the hub of Uptown Manhattan. Oh. Nah, I don't got, got, got the moves. He got the moves. I don't got the moves. He got the moves. <laughs> every every city got their bad areas, and so we was walking past the uh, area that had a lot of drug addicts or whatever. But you know, majority of Harlem is is, is not like that. Every city has their bad areas, and that, we was just walking past it. But you know. There's a lot of culture around here. It's a good place to live and it's a nice area. You get the bang for your buck over here. I just paid $6 for a quarter chicken, rice and beans. It doesn't get better than that. You get a lot of food, a little bit of money. The success we have at Hayes is going to get everybody on the team notice and it's going to get New York City notice as a whole because now we're going to have a camera on us. Everybody's going to be watching us. They're going to say they got dudes in New York City. We got to go out there to recruit. So now you got dudes from other schools getting recruited. And that's how the whole city just builds each other up. I'm NYC bred. Right now we in Riverside Park. I'm just getting my throws in, my mandatory throws with my boy Mace. Uh, right before we go hit the gym, today's leg day, so y'all in for a show. And nobody feels bad about like, oh, you couldn't, you can't work out in New York City cause, cause it's winter. Like, I'd be like, oh, I can't compete with a dude from Texas cause they don't have a winter. And I can't throw the ball in the winter because it's snowing and there's snow everywhere. Nobody cares about that. Colleges don't care about that. The kid from Texas don't care about that. My, my opponent on Saturday doesn't care about that. Nobody cares about that. So you got to just, you got to get it however you can. You don't got a gym, you better be in the park. You better be doing pull-ups. You better be doing push-ups, doing whatever you can to get it however you can. All right, real quick, what sport uh, kind of exemplifies complete control? Gymnastics. You've been here for this, so don't answer. Gymnastics. Why? Why gymnastics? Why are they the top athletes in the world? 
that, that is the sport of mastery, complete mastery of the human body. With that said, right, if, all, if gymnastics kind of exemplifies total body control, then we know what? That total athleticism is what? Total body control. You know, he, he just continues to push it, push the envelope, um, and he wears it on his back. You know, he, he does take the challenge, and, and it's tough. You know, this is not a historical place for, you know, football talent, um, but he, he truly believes in changing that. Um, wholeheartedly. One of the most focused young men I've ever met. Um, he's almost like an old soul, as if he's, he's been here before. He, he, just, he just gets what it is that in terms of being serious and approaching a workout he, at a young age. So seven, eight, nine, he just understood getting in line, you know, not goofing off, not, not being a kid, even though at seven, eight, you should be a kid. You know, when you get those sort of kids, it's, it's contagious. I don't make excuses. Like, if I need something done, playing football in New York City, you gotta get it done. We just got done with our leg workout down at the gym. What about you? We gotta go over to the Bronx to get some uh, field work at Cardinal Hayes. Uh, to get to the field, you gotta take two trains or, and then walk, or you can take the, the train to the bus and then walk. Right now, we about to take the train to the bus. Matt Robbins, thank you. When you're trying to get on the bus, you like a kid, you just be like, can I get a ride? And they just let you on for free, so that's usually how we do it. Right now, we're at the Hayes backfield. It's the back of the school, home of the Cardinals. We just got our field redone this summer. This is our home field right here. That's where we practice. Uh, I love practicing on this field. This season, I'm expecting uh, nothing short of a state championship. Anything else doesn't really matter, especially with the team we got this year. Last year, I had 35 touchdowns, over, over 3,000 yards. So the ultimate goal is just to be able to come back and help kids out and, you know, just maybe coach them up or just show them that you could do all of this stuff right out of the city. I've met Sophia when I was like eight, nine years old on the Harlem Jets. It's a youth organization. We even played with each other until we was 13. Whether we on the field or in the weight room, he's going to always be pushing me, pushing me, pushing me. He's very competitive. And then like off the field, he just... His personality is he's a funny kid, like, since he was little. In order to taste my cup of water, you must first empty your cup. Do you know why this cup is so useful? Because it is empty. I'm going to throw for 5,000 yards this season and 50 touchdowns. That's a quote. But the ultimate goal is to win that state championship. Nothing else matters if we don't win that. That's the ultimate goal right there. Right now we're at the Jets field, field number one, Rainbow's Island. It's all the kids, they're getting ready to start practice warm up right now. You got the right one. You got the right one. Yeah, I, I like coming here and seeing the young talent and getting a chance to, you know, sometimes throw to them and help coach them up. Because I know even for myself, I like to work with people that's at a higher talent level than myself or that has more football knowledge than myself. Yo, catch the ball like this. When it's right here, catch it like this. Don't try to catch it like this, because it's going to go through your hands. You got to strap your helmet. Strap your helmet. I played for the Jets for five years. I went to Florida for five years to compete in the Nationals. We never lost the game in New York. Well, it sets Sophie on apart. Um, I mean, it's just in-your-face work ethic. Um, you know, Two-time All-American, um, wins the city championship as a true freshman. Um, it's just unheard of and have the work ethic of someone who is not getting any of these accolades. You know, it's beyond sports. He, he, he really cares about, you know, what all of this means in the long run. Cardinal Hayes, now we're trying to, you know, win out, win out the state and then move into becoming a national program. Every could play every sport. Yeah, I'm on that football grind. If you want to see videos like this, check them out right here. And also click subscribe.